The 6-5 is live at Broadcom headquarters here in San Jose, California. It is deal day between Broadcom and VMware. Super exciting day, an historic day, and something we've been tracking for about 18 months, Daniel. It has, it is a big day. And uh, you know, I think we wondered, would we get here? And right. yet here we are, and it is a historic moment. It's a big moment. And Pat, we love large M&A. It creates so much excitement, so much buzz. And these are companies that do very different things. And there was a lot of questions and, and eyeballs on this deal and what does it mean? And being here at Broadcom headquarters on deal day gives us the chance to have some of those conversations. It does, and maybe a few victory laps. I think uh, in three months in, Right, it's like this deal is going to go through for the right reasons. We've seen deals go, we've seen deals not go. We knew right. this would go. And by the way, the one other thing that the experts uh, may have gotten wrong here is, hey, what was going to happen with Tanzu? Right? Is it still going to be there? Is it not going to be there? Well, we have with us the Tanzu GM Pranima. Great to see you. Great Welcome to be here. Welcome to the six five. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Good to be here. Yeah, It is great to be here. And Pat, you teed that up pretty nicely. There was a lot of wonderment, we would call it, or, or curiosity about what would happen with Tanzu. What would be uh, the multi-cloud and then the application strategy into the future? And let's just start there. Kind of talk a little bit about what's going on with, with Tanzu. Where is it going? And how does this deal potentially progress or, or, or speed its innovation? Look, that is the, <laughs> that has been a conversation I've had for the last 18 months. Is there going to be tons of going forward? And I think Hawk has unequivocally given the message to the market that Tanzu is not only there, it is very important and critical to Broadcom strategy. And that has just been great because I have probably a, another a 50 calls lined up right, right. now to make sure <laughs> that everybody heard that message. And, and there is a reason behind it, right? When you think about what Hawk men mentioned in his, his primary part of the strategy is to give to the industry the perfect private cloud stack with VMware Cloud Foundation, a stack that can be deployed not only on-prem but on any public cloud. Now, once you have a beautiful private cloud stack, what do you put on it? Application. Surprise. Surprise. I knew this wasn't a trick question she was asking. <laughs> Good job. It wasn't Good a job. trick question. One for and, Pat. And the main, main point is you're not just putting applications that have already been built, as in Brownfield, right. but you truly have to accelerate applications, new applications on that stack. And that's where Tanzu fits in. Truly helping customers accelerate their application innovation and application delivery and making it available on VCF-based clouds, as well as public clouds. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, I, through all of the Broadcom videos, everybody, if you're watching, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously a fanboy of uh, the hybrid multi-cloud and ways to make uh, enterprises more efficient, uh, speed up their operations, make them, make them more secure, and having a common application platform, it, it does just make sense, right? The, particularly one that's, uh, that's portable. Uh, at Explore, uh, right, we saw uh, Tanzu and Aria uh, come together, and that essentially means that you get uh, the, the the twofer: you get cloud management, and you get a, a cross-cloud, uh, multi-cloud application development environment. I I'm curious, um, how did things change, if any, uh, with the combination of the two of the two companies, and maybe just if you can reinforce the benefit of to enterprise of having those two uh, combined would be of, great. Of uh, Tanzu and Aria combined. Exactly. Okay, so two different questions here, looks like. I know. <laughs> I mean, we, we, sneak, we, we try to sneak that in there. Multiple questions yeah. here. So let us start with the advantage of VMware and Broadcom. I mean, one thing that Hawk has already mentioned is that there is focus on VMware Cloud Foundation. And when we deliver this VMware Cloud Foundation, it will not only have the ability to run VMs, but it will also have the ability to run containers. So Kubernetes runtime becomes de facto, right? It's already available in on public clouds, AKS, EKS, and with any hybrid cloud or VMware-based cloud, you will have Kubernetes runtime or Kubernetes dial tone as de facto. So what it allows then for us from a Tanzu perspective to do is we say that, look, we won't worry about container runtime. 
What we worry about is delivering an application runtime. How can we give a platform that truly allows customers to accelerate their application delivery by helping them develop, operate, and optimize their applications more securely and faster? It is a time to market advantage that we're talking about. Think about it in an era where, you know, within a few days, the fates of businesses can change. The ability to respond to that need is very critical. I'll tell you some powerful, powerful examples with Tanzu. I have had customers when COVID struck, retail stores that had to close down. And within eight days, they were able to put out an application for curbside pickup. That is direct benefit from a business perspective. And in order to do that, a Kubernetes runtime is good. But what you need is that platform that allows you to rapidly develop, operate, and optimize the applications. So that is, in core essence, what is Tanzu. Now let's go to Aria. What Aria did was twofold. One was basically management, management of the infrastructure, as well as management of the apps. So what we did is we took the management of infrastructure and combined it with VCF, so that now you have one stack, fully virtualized, but with management. And then we took the management of applications and combined it with Tanzu. So now you have a singular platform, irrespective of where the application is deployed, private or public. And whether it is Kubernetes or not, you're able to manage the applications. Because when you build applications, it's a lot of times people talk about one-time delivery, right? But really, applications have to, once they are delivered, you need to optimize them. And you need to manage cost, performance, and security of these applications. And that's where it becomes a beautiful combination. And rather than have multiple brand names, we call all of it Tanzu. Understood. No, by the way, it's the, I think it's the best explanation I've heard. And I, I know it's taken a lot of education, even post-Explore, to, yes, it has to get that across. So I'm mm -hmm. really glad uh, that you brought that up again. And it makes perfect sense to me, even though I like... I know some people like disaggregated, then they want aggregated for simplicity, but they want disaggregated. I mean, I get it now. Thank you. Great. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's always good when when you know the question's been nailed, and in real time when you walk away, you're like, I, that makes a lot of sense. It does. So thank you. <laughs> um, so I want to talk a little bit about advancing the hybrid cloud strategies and jointly. Now, of course, it's one very large entity now. It was already two very large entities before. Right. Yeah. But the hybrid cloud strategy, and I think the one thing we've come to the conclusion is that we are every enterprise is going to land hybrid in some way. Now, again, we sometimes see the conflation of hybrids and multis and different words, and Tanzu is at the epicenter of this conflation of trying to help companies deal with it all. But how do you see sort of Tanzu as an accelerator of Broadcom sort of vision for hybrid cloud strategy? Yeah. And so maybe we'll just retrade the definitions a little bit. When it comes to hybrid, the idea is that you have workloads that can be deployed on-prem, but they can also be moved or uh, ported across to multiple environments. And that's the hybridity part, including public clouds. And VMware Cloud Foundation truly allows you to do that. And Tanzu is the first class citizen on top of VMware Cloud Foundation. So if you have VMware Cloud Foundation, then your ability to build applications and deliver to that cloud foundation becomes extremely easy. And by that, you also are able to get your applications anyway. But then there is also multi-cloud. And usually multi-cloud, the way we define it, is in pockets of cloud. And you may not have a common runtime, but you may have, for example, if I'm deployed on AWS, I may be using EKS for my Kubernetes. I may be using AKS on Azure. I may be using our Tanzu Kubernetes runtime on VCF. How do you then get portability? And that is the other layer of portability that Tanzu brings in. You build your applications once against a Kubernetes dial tone, but then you manage it at scale across any of these environments. So Tanzu supports both, as you said, at the Nexus, both the hybrid cloud as well as expands to the true multi-cloud strategy. By the way, I love the uh, Kubernetes dial tone. Uh, I might start using that from now on. I'll give you credit every once in a while. For okay, it. that's that's great. No, as long just, as I get some royalty. It, it, is, it is the common language for application containers. And um, it is the dial tone. Imagine that. I love that. But Pat, you're only talking to 
X is Gen X and Boomer then, because I don't think the okay. young ones know what a dial tone is. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good call, Dan. Thank That's you. Good. Sorry, everyone. So um, uh, simplicity and scale has really been a hallmark, not only of Broadcom and software, and even quite frankly, a lot of Broadcom hardware, but also for VMware. You know, and and with uh, whether it's uh, VMware Cloud Foundation or or Tanzu, I think it's also one of the rallying cries uh, as well. I'd like to talk a little bit about um, the operations layer uh, of this uh, inside uh, of Tanzu. Can you can you do the double click on that and talk about the value that that this is bringing? Uh, as well, and how is this, this question I get, how is this different from ARIA? Yeah, but uh, as we said, <laughs> again, ARIA, application management, and Tanzu have come together yes. under one. So there isn't any difference anymore going forward. So when I said, what is the purpose of Tanzu? It is to help customers develop, operate, and optimize. And develop is usually what we call uh, through golden paths to production. Right? So that each team doesn't think about how do I get my application to production in a different way. You're systematizing that. With operate and optimize, what you have to do is you have to create that common management foundation for applications. And what we have done is think of it in terms of layers. Right, The first layer is how can I provide the ability to manage policies, manage security, control the environment, manage the costs of my multi-cloud environment as well as of, of, of all these Kubernetes that's out there. That is very critical. But it doesn't stop there. I think industry has just spent too much time talking just about Kubernetes policies. Really, to manage application, the next thing that we do with operations is, what do you care if you're an application developer? You don't care what is the Kubernetes policy, but you do care what is your scale-out policy. You care if your microservices have mutual auth. You care if you can um, uh, have PII uh, data filtering turned on. So imagine rather than trying to talk about lower level policies with Tanzu's operate and optimize components, you can just give the higher level information that you need and then we translate it using that operations layer and make it so. Just so I understand, this is on-prem, yeah. this is in multiple public clouds, yes. could be uh, in a on the edge, possibly in a, in a cloud, yes. all with the same develop, management, operate, optimize yes. across that. That's correct. Sounds pretty good, Dan. <laughs> Roadmap time. Yes. <laughs> so we uh, generally, as analysts, it's our gig to try to figure out where this is all heading. Yeah. What I like even better is when someone just tells us. <laughs> now, oftentimes these kinds of conversations come with a lot of caveats or. Uh, Asterisks, you're not going to tell us everywhere that this is yes. going to go. But I do think now that this deal is done, the focus is back on building the business back. It should never have not been, but sometimes yeah. it feels like it, yes. it is. Where does the Tanzu platform go from here? Where do you see in terms of its innovation and how it will not only benefit the customer today, like we talked about, but how is it going to benefit the customers in the future? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you look at today's world, definitely software is still the lifeblood of all, all companies. and having that out with high resiliency, high security, is the difference between, let us say, business success or not, right? It is as dramatic as that. So I'll start with the portfolio. One of the things I must, I guess, take the blame itself, we did do was confuse the market with a lot of names, right? We have had a lot of names in the market. We have also had Aria and I had a I, I, I'll be honest, I had a cheat sheet. Yes, I did. you have to there have the T-star every... T-cheat, yeah, I, I <laughs> is had what that. I call that. Yes. So one is we have simplified. Really, rather than worry about e naming and asking you to think about each and every component, at the core of the Tanzu uh, uh, business and Tanzu division is the Tanzu platform, application platform. And we have two uh, approaches. One is a fully um, black boxed approach, right, that is seamless and has been deployed at high scale with customers called Tanzu Application Service, comes from the Pivotal heritage. The second one, we know people also want Kubernetes-based application platform, and that is where our TAP, or Tanzu Application Platform, fits in. 
Now, rather than think of these as two separate things or migrating from one to the other, we are going to invest in both of them and give customers choice. Really, TAS is think about more of like a Tanzu run type of model. Everything is black boxed and you're just throwing in an application at it and we take care of the rest. But for customers that want to build grounds up a Kubernetes-based stack, you also have TAP. So you have two alternatives with a core platform. That is all. Tanzu application service and Tanzu application platform. But of course, you can't build an application as an island. And you brought this up earlier, and you brought this up earlier. You need to think about data and data services. And that is why we surround the Tanzu application platform with something called Tanzu data that allows you to bring data services, but allows you to also attach your existing databases, your brownfield environments, into the application platform. Very critical. And the other piece is an application, once it's deployed, has to be managed. And that's where we bring Tanzu intelligence that will help you manage cost, performance, and security. So if you remember those three things, there's a core application platform, there is data, and there is intelligence. That is the whole Tanzu portfolio that we're doing. But to make this happen, there's a lot of innovation that has to happen. These can't be now disparate products and they say, okay, we throw it over the wall and ask customers to go and integrate it. So we are spending a lot of time. Now, this is not a new product. It's just the glue fabric called the hub, Tanzu hub, that allows us to stitch customers' um, uh, information about customers' environment, their applications, the topologies, the dependencies. And then we are putting on top of it, it's going to be out now. Uh, it's a, we announced it at Explore, a Gen AI-based assistant on top. Because application data is hard to understand. You know, I might have metrics, I have logs, I have traces, I've got cost information. But I don't care about that individual points of data. I want to know, is my application performing well? And if not, what should I do? So being able to have that conversation, and because we have structured data about the environment, we can do that. So you will see a lot more with that Tanzu Intelligent Assist, which is a Gen AI based interface. Uh, you'll also see us, again, provide more holistic integrated solutions. That is the second piece. And the third one is seamless integration with VCF. Once VCF is laid down, your ability to say, do a Tanzu based development environment that truly gives that beautiful developer experience, right? That ability to build applications within days, not weeks or months. We want to make it available at everybody's fingertips. So that's where we are going. <laughs> Pranima, that was a very succinct description. I have to in say. In threes, I love everything in threes. Everything is three, yes. Right. <laughs> She's got some hosting skills. I'm just saying if if you know when you're done building this into multiple billions, we'll have to have her back because uh, sure. you, you were very sharp on the answers and I appreciate that. So um, Pranima, let's make sure that we get back together here because in, in about six to 12 months, I think a lot of the market are gonna wanna see how these vision statements are coming to fruition and how tying the Tanzu portfolio into something that's much more easy to digest uh, starts to generate growth. And we start to hear from the customers that, yes, this is working. Because what I'm hearing sounds like you are absolutely on the right path. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks. It's deal day and we're here in San Jose at Broadcom headquarters. We're seeing Broadcom and VMware officially together going forward. Patrick and myself have had the chance to talk to the leaders of the new Broadcom VMware venture. And Pat, it's been a lot of fun. But for everyone out there, I hope you hit that subscribe and join and watch all the episodes from today's deal day coverage. But we got to go. More to come soon. Bye-bye now.